Hi, I'm Lorna. Last year I sold my house and fulfilled my lifelong dream of moving on to a narrowboat. Now I want you to join me as I make more of my dreams come true. Hopefully I don't sink along the way. There'll be laughter, tears and cute cat videos. This is 30 things to do before I'm 30. I'm here at North Yim Station in East Sussex. The Kent and East Sussex Railway is a heritage railway running from Bodium to Tenterden, a distance of 11 and a half miles. The railway opened in 1900 and closed to passengers in 1954, before closing entirely in 1961. Preservation efforts began immediately and it reopened in 1974. The section to North Yom opened in 1990. I wanted to stay somewhere a little unusual for my recent holiday and this fitted the bill perfectly. Railway Retreats offers this converted railway carriage as a fantastic holiday home adjacent to North Yom Station. Originally built in 1962, the carriage now has three bedrooms, one of them en suite, as well as a family bathroom, a fully fitted kitchen and a balcony. It was still winter when I stayed, so I wouldn't recommend going out there barefoot. Ow! 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 Unfortunately, the railway wasn't running during my stay, but as you may have seen in one of my other videos, there are other steam railways nearby. And because there was no one around, it gave me a chance to unleash my inner nerd and go exploring. Some parts of the railway suffered from underinvestment during construction, meaning that much work is needed for maintenance and restoration. It was evident that there was a lot of work going on into maintaining the railway, with tons of new sleepers and piles of discarded porcelain pots, which shows that the rails have been acquired from electrified railways. some DVDs, play some board games and forget about the outside world. But there was just so much to do nearby and explore, from beautiful countryside to fantastic coastlines, and it's only 90 minutes from London. was spotlessly clean and very comfortable, although it got a bit chilly in the evenings. For me, living on a narrow boat, I kept saying it's so big, but my travelling companion told me that for a house dweller it felt small, albeit in a charming way. I loved all of the railway memorabilia in the carriage and would say to anyone looking for a quirky, affordable place to stay, this ticks all of the boxes. Music 